This video is about Natural One and DevOps with a close look at continuous deployment. This is an image depicting the Natural One process and toolchain. Continuous deployment occurs at the end of the process and transfers all changes and new functionalities to production. Container technologies like Docker lets you provide fully scripted and automated provisioning of the platform and the application. An artifactory like JFrog can be used as a repository to store binary assets for deployment. Let's take a closer look at this part of the process. The Natural One development environment is used to implement natural applications. A source code management system like Git is used as the repository server. Modifications are uploaded and executed in private mode, which means they don't affect other developers. Once work is finished, changes are made available by committing or pushing them to a central repository. Continuous integration then transfers changes from the repository to the shared development environment, which ensures that application build and deployment are successful. We could also have a testing environment in addition to the development environment. Jenkins could deploy our application to this environment as well, and also invoke automated tests which prove that application functionality can be guaranteed. Continuous deployment architectures could be different, based on customer requirements. In this example in Linux, a Natural One deployment script is used to deploy to production. All the changes that were committed or merged to the master branch in the Git repository will automatically be deployed to production by Jenkins, using a natural development server. In this second example on ZOS, the repository-based team development process is identical. Changes committed to the central repository are transferred to the test and dev environment via continuous integration. ZOS often has strict established processes for changes to production and existing deployment tools. Natural One customers don't have to change and can leverage their existing deployment tools. A list of natural asset names required for deployment can be created and used as input by Natural One. Let's look at how deployment with Jenkins and Natural One works based on the first architecture example. This is the Jenkins web application. Jenkins is an open source continuous integration tool. In addition to a lot of other functionality, you can create jobs to execute automated tasks. You'll see that I have created three jobs to deploy all source code changes that have been committed to the central repository to corresponding environments. The NatCI prod job will deploy all changes pushed to the master branch to the production environment. We'll see this job spinning up after changes are committed to the repository. Let's switch to Natural One. This is the Natural One development environment, and in the left-hand view is the navigator, which displays my workspace and all the projects I'm working on. At the moment, there is a single project, Natural Cruise, which is connected to a Git repository. If we expand the project, we'll see three deployment scripts, one for each environment. These scripts can be created with Natural One. Via the context menu, New, Other, we'll see Deploy Natural Ant, which will open the wizard. In this and the following pages, we can specify all the deployment parameters we need depending on the target environment. Jenkins uses this Ant script to perform the deployment task. I will now merge a change I made earlier in another branch into the master branch. I'll do it manually to simulate a feature being made ready for production. This could, however, also be triggered by a release management or code review tool after a build deploy test and review was successful. To merge, we'll go to the context menu, Team, and Merge. Then we'll select the remote branch, Feature 1, in the dialog. We'll choose the default options and hit Merge. The changes are now merged to the local Git repository. We'll switch to the Synchronize view via Team, Synchronize Workspace. Here, we can see the changed module that needs to be pushed to the central repository. Let's commit and push this merge and immediately switch to the Jenkins web application. In the Jenkins web application, we can see the automated job running and deploying the application to production. The job ended successfully, and we can take a look at the details and switch to the last build's console output. We can see here that Jenkins fetched the most recent version from Git 
and started the ant deployment script. If we scroll down a bit, we'll be able to see the parameters and the established connection to the natural development server. All the way at the bottom, we'll be able to see the changed module that was deployed and that deployment was successful.